Alright, hello. <clears throat> I'm Tim. Welcome to my tutorial on how to download things using um, torrents. And I know these things are free. I'm going to show you how to download anything you want for free. Um, so go ahead and head over to uTorrent. Um, you can also use uh, BitTorrent. I use uTorrent because it is smaller on my computer. It's around 400 kilobytes, so it doesn't take up any room. Um, click the download. uTorrent is free for anybody to use. Um, uh, I'm going to tell you what a torrent is right now. A torrent is um, a file that you can download using uTorrent and a torrent website, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, it's a file that you download from people um, across the world, and these people are have downloaded the same file that you've downloaded, and they are just letting you have it for free. And um, hold on. All right, uh, here's uTorrent. Um, it, this is what it looks like. Uh, now, you're going to go ahead and go up to uh, options and hit the setup guide. Um, run the tests. And this configures uTorrent to download things uh, to the best of its capabilities. And it takes um, one or two minutes to do. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and go and show you. Uh, or where to download things from. You can download things from actually BitTorrent, but you have to pay for them, and I don't enjoy paying for things very much. So I'm going to head over to the Pirate Bay, um, ISO Hunt, Fenope, or Demonoid. Uh, the thing about Demonoid is actually you have to have a, uh, a friend who gives you a uh, invitation code these are pretty hard to come by most of the time. Um, they are free, so don't be buying them. So it says right here. Uh, it's kind of a waste of time, and most of the time they are fake. So I use Demonoid, but it's hard to get to. But I also use uh, the Pirate Bay a lot too. So I'm gonna head over to the Pirate Bay. This is a great um, website. And you're just going to type in um, the music or the movie that you want or the book or the program. Anything you want. And it's going to go ahead. Um, going back to this. Once this finishes, go ahead and click automatic port mapping. It might or might not have that on yours. It has it on mine, but last time I installed it, it didn't. Go ahead and save and close that. Alright, back over to the, the Pirate Bay. Um, here we have the type it is, uh, it's a uh, music, music videos, might have movies there, or book, or uh, PDF files. Um, go ahead and click over here to uh, the Cedars. Click that, and uh, the Cedars are the people that you're downloading it from, and the more Cedars you have, the faster the file will download, because of course the more people you're downloading it from, the more you get. Um, leechers, that's the LE right here. Uh, leechers are people who are also downloading the same file as you, so you're a leecher when you download a file. Um, the, the less leechers you have, the better. But if you have a, a enormous amount like this, like 4,000, it doesn't matter the amount of leechers, it's, it's going to download fast, anyways. Go ahead and click on the file, and here we have. Um, who who made it, the size, how many files right here, um, comments, just basic info. Here we actually have the, uh, the file itself, and this explains most of the time what is in it. This one, of course, is a very good one, and it will tell you everything it has in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the comments. Um, I read comments because... Uh, Sometimes they're funny, but most of the time it tells you 
if people have run virus software on there and they found a virus onto the torrent uh, it's most of them, you don't want to download that one you could get a virus even if they're lying or not it doesn't really matter it's just stay safe you know so just read the comments if someone says you know search through with you know McPhee just don't download it and uh, so I'm going to go here, download this torrent. Alright. Uh, it will automatically pop up with uTorrent. Right here. Um, here we have where you're downloading it to. I'm downloading it just to my documents. Um, don't mess with these. These are for uh, advanced things. And they will screw it up if you mess it up. Um, here you have all the files. Uh, of course this is a good one so it includes the uh, pictures from the CD and the music and so you're gonna go ahead and go OK and it'll come up and it'll automatically start downloading it um, here it, it's checking the download uh, alright so here we have the name of the file here we have the number it was that, uh, if you have a second file, then that would be number two and number three, and so on. Um, here we have the size. Um, this is how fast the percent that's done. If it's downloading or not, if you click on it and press pause, it'll say paused, and it will stop downloading. Stop means that you actually stop your internet connection with other people. Pausing it, you keep your internet connection with them. So if you're going to go on another page or something, go ahead and click stop and then when you come back you can go ahead and resume it. Uh, here we have the seeds, this is the amount in the pool, this is in the parentheses and to the left is actually the amount that you're downloading it from. Peers are people who are downloading it from also. Uh, basically the same thing. Um, download speed, the upload speed, when you download something it will upload it as you're downloading it a little bit but I recommend keeping it up there to upload just for maybe 10-15 minutes after you download it just to be nice to other people you know without cedars you wouldn't get a program so uploading it uh, when you upload it you're not actually uploading anything it's just you helping other people you're, you're seeding other people uh, the ETA, that one, it fluctuates, so I wouldn't even bother with that. Uh, if you go down here, you can look. This is just general things, you know. Uh, how fast you're downloading it, who you're downloading it, and uh, trackers. These are the uh, things, and these are what actually allow you to download it from things. Some of them might have failures. It, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't mess with that. Peers, these are people you're downloading it from. The pieces is uh, when you download it, it separates it into many pieces and it makes it go faster. And these are the pieces. The files are the actual files. Let's say you're downloading something and you have two files, and one is really small, like this bottom one, and one is really big, let's say, like this one. Now you can set this and you can go to priority put that on high and it will download this file a hundred times faster than it did this file <clears throat> this is a bar graph on your speed um, I'm on Wi-Fi so my speed goes up and down and up and down if you're wired on a computer it will stay up and it will be fast and logger just tells you what has failed who you're downloading uh, if anything has failed um, Alright, I'm going to show you some websites to use. I use the Pirate Bay a lot. Uh, ISO Hunt is also another great torrent website. It's uh, I'll talk about the copyright rules in a second. Um, you can also use Fenopy. I found out about this today. This is actually really cool. It kind of gives you like uh, what everybody's downloading up front so you can look and see and uh yeah these are some great websites they all basically have the same thing you know they have the size cedars the name 
Um, all right, just some uh, reminders. What you're doing here is actually um, illegal. This is for uh, educational purposes, and this is illegal. What you're doing, you're you're stealing music here, stealing uh, movies, but it's free, so that's why I do it. Um, <laughs> now, what's happening? Um, if you put this on CDs, on DVDs, if you print them and you sell them for money, then you're committing a felony crime and you can get slapped with a huge fine, uh, mostly on time up to uh, $250,000. So I wouldn't recommend downloading it <coughs> and selling these uh, whenever you download just because you don't want to lose all your money pretty obvious but if you stay safe and you don't sell them if you don't share them that much then you're most of uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna get slapped with a fine you're not gonna get in trouble at all um basically that's it just remember to download things with more cedars than leechers uh, try to stay to um, some of the main torrent ones right here because if you go to another torrent website they aren't safe they aren't you know as reliable as these and most of the time they want to make you join some stupid thing and it's just not worth it these are free they're great especially the pirate bay it's the biggest one out there it's great um, people download great things from it um, remember what you're doing is illegal, so don't share it, uh, uh, don't sell it. Um, download with the biggest cedar and the lowest amount of leechers. Um, while if you have an um, amount of, of cedars that is uh, more than thousands, uh, like this one is 4,000 right here, the leechers won't matter, just download it, it'll download fast. Alright, uh, that's it. Thank you for watching my tutorial, I'm Tim, and comment, reply if you have any questions, I'll, ask, I'll answer them to the best of my ability, uh, but other than that, that's it, thanks for watching.